Hello? Excuse me? Hello? 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 I know she know what was coming, <laughs> so she left. Now, I can do things in a chronological order. I was supposed to come by BWIA last night. They're trying to get rid of BWIA by next month, so they put me by Air Jamaica. I land at JFK. 120 Jamaicans on board. I the only Bajan. <laughs> Be clear immigration, clear customs, and we outside in the cold. A Jamaican look at me and say, Bitch, how me going to get to Brooklyn? This is me first time in New York. I tell him, catch a taxi. He tell me, me have sufficient funds. Give me an option. I tell him, go across the street. Wait for the number 15 bus. <laughs> it will take you to Brooklyn. I stand up watching he bus come and gone. Bus come and gone. Bus come and gone. So as a concerned Caribbean citizen, I go over to you. Is it Jamaica? What wrong with your ears? I tell you, catch the number 15 bus. It's a BH. You feel Jamaican ignorant? You tell me 15, only 10 bus gone. Eh? All my Jamaican friends say I love one. But before that happened, a Jamaica delay four hours in Barbados. When I think I come in straight to New York, plane going to St. Lucia first. So I, my geography ain't that good. So I want to know how to go in down to come back up. But I can't do nothing. So we going down St. Lucia. When the plane gets St. Lucia, a Lucian get on. First, man on the plane in Lucian and sit down in first class. So the air hostess go to him and say, boss, what is your seat number? He show she. She said, 36B, don't they? He said, uh-uh, first man on the plane, I ride in first class. The woman said, no, on planes, you just sit where your seat number is. You got to sit down there. And all the illusion saying is, first man on the plane, first class. Air hostess can't handle he no more. Go and tell the pilot. The captain come down, whisper something in the Lucian ear. And he get up, take away his bike, and go on down there and sit down 36B. I curious, so I go and ask the captain, will you tell he? Captain said, I tell he, you see them people down there? Where you going? He said, I go in New York. He said, well, them people go in New York too. But these people ain't going there. <laughs> and then what made me laugh is that Bush, Bush, because only last week in school, teacher asked the class to name the countries in the world that have presidents. One little fellow said Trinidad, have one. Another fellow said Mexico, have one. Guatemala. Hey, Venezuela got one. 
and the naming countries and the little boy yes yeah, so them talking bear foolishness america have the most presidents in the world did you say yeah, you're an idiot a country has only got one president he said uh-uh that's not what my grandfather tell me tell me america got presidents like bush Eh? And then they got this one in England named Tony Blair. You know he everything Bush do, he do too. Bush fight war in Afghanistan, he send men down there to day sit down. Bush saying you sit down. You born here. You born here? Born here, but he ain't grow here. Huh? See? <laughs> but that Tony Blair, he and then la last month he played saying that he can back out gracefully after he put the people in so much catastrophe. You understand? I don't understand Blair. Anybody here that live in England, I want to send a message to Blair because he don't understand the history of England. Let Trevor Eastman teach him. You see. Listen very carefully. Many years ago, when England was an empire, they had an emperor. Then England became a kingdom, had a king. Then England, somewhere along the line, became a queendom, have a queen. But now in October 2006, England is only a country. Uh, uh, some, somebody tried to make me to understand that war does only come when a country is going through certain economical problems. They cause a war just to sell weapons to make money. I don't know. I am not a politician. But I know that the way the economy is going right now in the whole Caribbean, that government seriously planning to postpone Christmas till next year. Everybody know drink. How oh, you doing? To make money. Everybody know, darling. Try to make a fast dollar. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody, watch, watch, watch. This is good. Watch good. You listening? Everybody trying to make dollar fast, my brother. You understand what I'm saying? You get me? I want to repeat that, you know. I mean, when they say everybody, I mean he and not you. Everybody trying to make a fast dollar. Everybody tricking everybody. Watch now. Yeah, the day in Barbados, everybody want to save two men walking towards one another. One fella said, Paul, you got money? Paul said, no. Why? So my I thirsty, I would drink something. Paul said, oh, I got the money. But we could still get enough drinks, plenty of drinks. So how? He said, come, let me teach you something. How much money you got? He said, I only got two dollars. He said, well, good. Go there, buy that hot dog stand and buy a hot dog. Bring it back. He come back with the hot dog, so he said, no. Pull down your zip. I'm going to pin this hot dog inside your pants. We going in that first bar. And we will call for some drinks and run a tab. When you feel we had sufficient, pull down your zip. I will suck that hot dog. And them fellas going to feel we nasty. And we can leave without pain. First bar to go on in. The drink, plenty drink. He put down zip and suck the hot dog and he hear the barkeeper. Hey, two nasty stinking men left my place. And he said, George, you see that? Check working. <laughs> 26 shops and bars all around town. They're going in and the trick working. 
After the twenty seventh bar, hey Paul, boss, that trick what? But I hungry now. <laughs> Let me eat that hot dog. He said, "What hot dog? I throw that away since the second shot." <laughs> eh, how you doing, darling? You know it? Huh? Everybody now in the world get paranoid. Everybody paranoid about this war thing. If you paranoid about the war thing, if and you don't like it, raise your hand. Let me see. Let me see who don't like war. Hey, you got, you wanna like war? He's sleeping. The other day, I in a restaurant with a partner of mine, a good friend. We sitting down waiting for dinner. And the waiter coming through with a big plate on his hand. You know how this comes to styling? With this big turkey on top. And when he get right by my table, my partner jump on her. Hey, boss man, be careful how you walk in with that. Because if you fall, Jesus Christ, we can see World War Three. So I look at you and say, boy, what are you talking about? You're a madman. How World War Three? He said, he's going to look at it good. Imagine he fall down. What we will see, we will see the fall of Turkey, <laughs> the disappearance of Greece, and the destruction of China. You understand this war thing, brother? <laughs> you, you, you understand this war thing? You sure? You sure you understand this war thing? Check it now. Check it now. This old war thing gets so ignorant. A Bajan and a Jamaican down in Iraq. Shooting at people. They had a right down there. Them down there shooting at Iraqis. And all of a sudden, the two the hills and the bushes and the shooting and the shooting. And all of a sudden, the baby said, Jamaica, hey, I want shit, boy. The Jamaica said, me was going to tell you the same thing. So the baby smart. The baby said, hey. If we can shit in these bushes with them crazy Iraqis, we got shit military. You stoop down and face so that any of the coming so you would see them and shoot them. I will back up to you and I will see who come in so and shoot them. So they told her that they're doing the thing. All of a sudden, the bitches said, Jamaica, you frightened? Jamaica said, nah, boy. Jamaica, man, me not frighten. Me not frighten once me got this big gun. Five minutes later, the bitch said, Jamaica, you sure you ain't frightened? Jamaica said, nah, man, me ain't frightened. The bitch said, well, well, why the hell you don't stop wiping my ass and wipe your own? Then? <laughs> Jamaica said, I ain't getting further, man. Somebody come, man. Somebody come. I ain't getting further. I ain't getting further, man. And they got say, hold on, hold on, hold on. New York, hold on. Because you got to say, they're going to left one of it because you know that tomorrow you can get deported. <laughs> come. Come, Tommy. The, the gift Tommy an award tonight. Give Tommy a round of applause. So I'm going to tell you. Good man. I look good, too. How are you doing? Everything good? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it out there for Mr. Trevor Eastman out of Barbados. Don't move your skipper, you wear it just no more. <laughs> 